Is there no for bringing the word? Good. Yeah, we're good. So I don't think I have to renew any introduction or anything. You can just talk. Yeah, that's what we typically right. do in so, documentaries. Right, right. So it's about dyslexia and neuroplasticity and why the brain is changeable mm -hmm. and why parents can have hope and there, it doesn't okay. have to be a permanent thing. <clears throat> so with the new science of neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity tells us that our brain can physically change. That every new thought we think, every new thing we learn, every new choice we make, every new behavior we demonstrate, every new experience that's created, every new emotion that we embrace, there's physical and chemical changes that take place in the, uh, uh, in the brain as a result of a shift in consciousness. So then, if the brain has the ability to physically change, then for the most part, the antithesis is also true thinking the same thoughts, doing the same things, making the same choices, creating the same experiences that produce the same emotions, then there's no physical or chemical changes in the brain. And now for the most part, there becomes biological, neurological, chemical, and epigenetic footprints that cause us to maintain the same state of being. So then, if you understand that learning something new makes new connections, experience then enriches those connections when you have an experience their senses are picking up all the data and it's causing jungles of neurons to organize into patterns to reflect the experience then the brain produces an emotion or a chemical then we could say then then as the person is thinking the same way they're firing and wiring the same circuits in the same sequences patterns and combinations if they're performing the same behaviors the same thing happens so then as nerve cells fire together and wire together, as you're making the brain work in the same ways, according to neuroscience, mind is the brain in action. So then the repetition of the same mind reinforces the same biology, and now the person really is kind of locked in a box. So the new science says that if we can introduce new strategies, new modalities to make the brain work in new sequences and new patterns and new combinations, then we're literally changing the mind. Now the beauty behind this is that children's brains are very neuroplastic, more neuroplastic than adults. Why? Because the brain is pretty much in stasis. Their brainwave patterns really don't have a development of analytical facilities. So what we need to do is work on foundations. So if you look at something like dyslexia, there is a, there is a, a vacancy of certain foundations in terms of neurological networks that allow things to go from here to here or from here to here or from here to here to here and those networks are not working in coherence in other words networks of neurons communities of neurons have to function and begin to hold hands with neighboring communities and neighboring uh, neighborhoods if that doesn't happen then that compartmentalization uh, causes a compromise either in cognition or expression or something. So then by introducing the right stimulation, and there's several patterns that get in there, but introducing the right stimulation to the nervous system and allowing the nervous system to adapt and begin to assemble through experience new archetypes and patterns, they become the very foundations. We begin to install the hardware patterns and if we can repeat the same experience, the hardware then produces the software. And now there is an assembly of a program that a child can begin to resource. So on some level, we're all dyslexic, if you think about it. I mean, some people can hear a song, listen to the song, and then can hum the entire song. Why? Because they've learned new things, they've studied music, they've sang, they've... Uh, uh, you know, uh, learned again, they've had a lot of experiences, they've uh, improvised. So they have a lot of neurocircuitry in place to be able to do that. Me personally, if I hear a song, I'm dyslexic because I cannot hum that song back because I don't have the circuits in place or the foundation to be able to do that. So then on some level then, the basis of learning for children that are dyslexic is that there are certain vacancies, certain networks of neurons that have to be selected and then instructed and once we select those networks and we instruct them if we can repeat the process again we're all of a sudden causing a, a brain to work more holistically. Fabulous. Are we good?
We're good. Okay. That was great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay.